Good morning, it's turned out nice again. Mother, how's it going guys? It's Friday the 27th of November 2020 and you're watching CopTalk.tv All right, in association with footballclubshares.com You can buy real shares in real football clubs at footballclubshares.com Now listen, it's a bit dark in here today Like the lighting's not great, do you know what I'm saying? It's, it is a bit dull, I know I'm saying it's turned out nice again but It's a bit grey outside, but it is Black Friday So what do you expect? But I'm not, and I am not pissing around getting all them fancy studio lights and stuff It's fucking face for radio, haven't I? Anyway guys, how are you doing? You alright? I do hope so, now listen I've seen this defender, um, young defender uh, he says he, he would like a move to Liverpool, which is, which is very nice of him, isn't it? Right, I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. He's called Marco Kana. He's 18, but he's very highly rated, and he's been likened already. You know that the the new, you know when a player comes through and they say the new Harry Kane and stuff like that. I, can't, I hate that view. They never they never are, are they? Uh, but he's been likened to uh, Vincent Company or Company, however you wait, it, kicking cut, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Um, and basically, he's been linked with the move to Southampton. They're very keen on him. But he's admitted that Liverpool right, would be his dream destination. And he was talking about his career hopes for the future. You know, so he, you know, he's, this lad's got a, little, you know, he's got a path marked out for himself and all that that he'd like to follow. And he says, later, I would first like to play abroad in a top or sub-top club. Okay. And then... In the best English teams, preferably in the English top five. Currently, I prefer Liverpool. They really dominate everything. That's it, I say, I want this kid now already. I mean, like, I know, like, any, like, up and coming footballers are going to say, well, I want to play for, you know, top teams and that, you know, in England, obviously, the Premier League is probably the best league in the world. Um, it's, it's the most overhyped league in the world. Um, but it is very good, obviously. And uh, you know you're gonna get you're gonna get players that want to want to play for the top clubs, obviously. Um, but this kid, he's 18, and he's like, I want to play for Liverpool, man. I like that. Sign him. That's it. End of discussion. Sign him. Let's keep an eye on him. I, I want I want to watch him. Bless him. I feel I don't know. I feel a little bit cute towards him. Uh, let's have a look. What's it say about him? So he's 18. He was born in Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Have you ever heard of that? No, me neither. Which is in the uh, DR Congo. Right, okay. Um, but he, he represents Belgium uh, on an international scale. Hey, he's an international already. Um, let's have a look what it says about that. Ah, the under 21, does that make sense? Right, so uh, his defender is 5 foot 10. Uh, started his, he started his uh, youth career at Anderlecht. Uh, he's been playing for the seniors there since 2019. Uh, 20 appearances it says here uh, and he's represented obviously Belgium as we were saying at the under 16s, under 17s, under 19s and under 21 uh, level um, and that's about your lot, there isn't a lot about him um, but he, like I say he's, he is likened to um, to Vincent Company. now I had a look on um, on another website to try and get you know like his, his contractual information etc uh, and apparently he's contracted till the end of June 2025. So he's got quite a bit of, um, of time left on that. Um, other than that, I don't really know anything about him, guys. I don't know if any of you guys can maybe chip in if you watch um, the teams that he represents. Let's have a little a little look on here, see if I can find a little bit more for you. All right. How's it going with the lockdowns and all that, wherever you are in the world? We, we don't have a lockdown here in Spain, but we've got a curfew. And it depends on what area of the country you live in. Um, it can be from 10 till 6, 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. But they can adjust it a little bit if that makes sense, that window. But ours is, ours is midnight till 6 a.m. So, uh, but the thing is here, nobody cries about it. People just fucking get on with it. You know? It's not like in England. Oh, I'm fucking, 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 fucking. Here it's just like, meh, fuck it, I'm off to bed. Um, so, yeah, Southampton are uh, really keen on this, uh, this kid. He dreams of playing for Liverpool. Um, and apparently on Football Manager 2021, he's, he's, a, he's nominated as one of the, or selected as one of the best young wonder kids. So if you're in, the, in that game, go and buy him, do you know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's it. He wants to play for us. Um, I, I like him. Anyone who wants to play for Liverpool, I like him. 
And uh, when I, it's, it's funny because at the other end of the, um, of the scale, so say you've had like, uh, you know, an experienced player, a, a senior pro who played for Liverpool maybe for years, they're like maybe a big name, you know, like Suarez, Coutinho, uh, any of them, even Alonso, right? And everyone loves Alonso. But the minute they go, do you know what? I want to play for someone else. I'm like, well, fuck you, then. I know, I know it's petty. I know it's childish, but I can't help myself. Do you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I was thinking I could make a few videos for you today. You know, I don't usually uh, make, make little videos. I like to waffle on for a long time. So, I'm, I'm going to I just... I am going to put some effort into today. The reason I stopped myself mid-sentence then was because, believe it or not, every day of the week I look and think, what can I do a video about today? But I just haven't seen a lot to talk about. Um, obviously, we've got the fans being allowed back in the stadium, but is 2,000 fans or whatever it is, a couple of thousand fans? I, I don't think it, it varies by region. Um, is that going to sound worse than the artificial noise on the um, on the telly? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. What do you think? Have you got any views on that while we're waffling on? Uh, I, I really, I'll be honest with you guys, I hardly watch any football at the moment. I can't watch it. I think you guys know this. If you're consistent with my videos, you'll know that I've consistently been saying that. Um, you know, same on the podcast, Cop Talk podcast, um, which is updated more or less Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's free. It's available to everybody. Cop Talk podcast. If you've got Spotify, it's on there or Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, it's it's there. Every every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I try to put an episode out for you all. Uh, and there can be like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and it reviews everything in the news and, and what's being claimed, you know. It's very popular. Obvs. Um, but yeah, like I, uh, sorry, like I was saying, you know, if you listen to, to me moaning on, you know, I, I'm not really uh, into the football while there's no fans in the stadiums. It's, it's just, it kills it for me. It kills it. Some people uh, agree with me and some people don't understand. I guess we're just all different. But for me, football, you know, a big part of it is is the atmosphere. And, you know, when someone goes in on a crunching tackle, I like to see people, at the, you know, behind the, uh, you know, on the front rows, leaning over, going, oh, fucking kick. You know what I mean, guys? I just like it. It's when it, when it all kicks off and they go up to the referee and you can, oh, fucking back. Do you know, I just like it, you know. And when someone gets tackled really bad but gets away with it, and you know that the first opportunity the player that got cropped can take revenge, you know that's going to happen. And 10 minutes later, <laughs> sliding tackle. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Do you know what I mean, guys? I can't stand it without fans. I can't, honestly. I've never, well, I was going to say I never w would have thought that, but that's ridiculous because uh, every year you've listened to me for 22 years um, saying to you, no, I'm not watching pre-season. I can't watch pre-season. It's like a training session. Not a shite cap, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I know that I don't like um, stuff like that. So uh, Just like I don't like youth football or women's football. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, that's it. We will talk again today, I think. I want to see if I can find something else to talk to you about today. I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. There is... Uh, or has been a transfer claim made this week um, by someone that I would pay attention to, and they're not in the media, and uh, it relates to a centre-back. And um, I was thinking, shall I do a video about that? But I sort of like have these... <clears throat> I like to hear it from a couple of people first before starting to make claims, you know, like passing things on, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Um, although this one is, is someone on the members website which if you are a cop top member you'll know who, who it, exactly who that is and you'll know that it's worth believing uh, so no I think you know alluded, what I'm alluding to is that Liverpool appear to uh, have identified a centre back uh, that they want to sign next summer uh, and there's just been a bit of speculation as to who that could be and early this week a claim was made about an offer going in on a personal offer as in therefore the terms uh, and, um, you know, personal package, whatever. But, you know, I'm getting older now, guys. I'm 46, my granddad. And um, sometimes the internet can be a bit of a cesspit. So sometimes it's good just to keep your mouth shut and just speak to the people that support you uh, and understand, if that makes sense. When you put yourself out there like this, you get all sorts of fucking 
you know, the, the great unwashed watching and stuff like that. I mean, someone commented on me, one of my videos the other day, what does he fucking know? I'm just fucking fucking. It's like, well, hang on, mate. I'm not saying I fucking know. I'm just passing on what I hear. If you, feel, if you think I've worked in an industry for more than 20 years and employed various fucking, you know, former Liverpool players to work on the website, we've had fucking owners of the club buy a membership to Cop Talk before. Might have been George Gillette and Tom Hicks, but they still did. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've communicated many, many times with various chief executives over the year, and I've worked with agents and no people in the media. So over over 20 plus years, you do build up a, you know, a network of, I prefer to say friends, you know, or acquaintances, and people talk, that's it. The last thing I want to do is come on here giving it, I'm an ITK, you know, a Twitter twat or something like that. I'm, I'm 46, I'm not fucking 14, do you know what I mean? And I don't feel I need to prove myself to anybody. But what I'm trying to say is sometimes, like, many, many years ago, I'd have come on here and gone, guys, guys, get this, get this. And I just sometimes I just think, oh, I can't be doing my asshole. So um, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'll see how I feel later on. Maybe because it's early in the morning and it's a bit grey. Do you know what I mean? And uh, my cup of tea is over there waiting for me. So um, I'll go and get that. I'll, I'll get charged and we'll, we'll see if we can talk about something else today. All right? Um... Yeah, check the podcast out, guys. Please do that. Thanks to the squad. Those of you that have joined this YouTube channel, you know who you are. You're amazing people. And it's been a very difficult year this year for many of us. Uh, we've lost over 120 members from Cop Talk this year from the website. And to put that into context, we usually lose two or three a year. And we usually get new people come in. You know, so there's a lot of people out there struggling without a doubt. I'm trying to work with those people. You know, people... Some people are proud, you know, but the, what, like as a kid over there, um, he, um, I, I've got a GoFundMe running at the moment, you know, to try and prop things up a little bit. Um, it's www.coptalk.us. I'll put the link in the video description below after the video. You can take a look. And bless him, this this Liverpool, he sent me, uh, Liverpool fan, he sent me a five and he said, don't, here's a five, mate. He says, I'd love to contribute more. I love your content. We'll watch your videos for years podcast blah 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 honestly I, I used to be a member he said but you know falling on hard times and then he, he went into like what well, he wasn't giving it the sob story he was just saying you know this is what what's happened Dunk. people are quite open and transparent with me uh, and I like that because I'm always there for you guys I am honestly uh, I'm just saying my dunk at coptalk.com is my email address if you're ever feeling low or anything I'm there for you man you know we've got each other's back but the, the good people have got each other's back and, um, you know, he's telling me what had happened with his his family, you know, just basically having a, a really hard time, you know, and had to cut back on a lot of things and problems and elf and family, immediate family stuff, just all sorts, just stuff. Anyway, he, despite being on his arse, he still chipped a fiver in, you know, and I was like, and when I read it and it said, um, I used to be a member, I was like, why, why, is he, why did he not tell me? Why I couldn't renew? So when someone tells me I don't, I'd love to stay, keep my membership, but I can't at the minute. I'm a, I always keep them. I always keep them. I'd be a shit businessman, uh, but I always say, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Fucking, you know, Alex will extend it for a year. Buy me a beer when you're on your feet or something like that. Anyway, I told support like I says, look, just message him back and to say, look, don't see this message of chip to fiver in. And he says, it, 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 why didn't you say that you still wanted to be with us? Because sometimes people just leave or something, you know. I fucking died. We've had some die as well. And um, told him, you know, said, oh, Dunk says you can have a you know, membership till you get on your feet again. And um, which it would have cost him 50 quid. Like, you know, it's like a donation, really. It's not like fucking. Anyway, he, the, she's, the, the message she sent me back from support was like, it, you know, it's just, he can't believe it. He, he, he was just, he's so buzzing. He's so happy. And um, it, I got told, it said, see. You've made someone happy today. And I think that's what we all need to do. We all need to try and make someone happy. Now, I ain't no lefty, wishy, you know, wishy-washy, tree-hugging, candle-burning. You know, I'm not one of these people that's like, I can't stand it. You've got to have a bit about you in life, right? Sometimes, you know, you can feel down. But sometimes you've got to say, come on, fuck's sake. We've got a roof over our heads. Chins up and all that. You know, sometimes you've got to be like that. But you do have to think you've got to make someone happy, and that's what I try to do every day. Um, so, you know, you could make me happy. <laughs> Obviously, you could be 
become a member of the YouTube channel. Uh, no, but you know, it would make me happy if you give this video a thumbs up. That would make me happy, or if you commented, uh, and then I know that you're watching. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And www.copsart.us if you want to support us. So yeah, I definitely need to get some coffee down me. I'm, I'm too soft this morning. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, if there's anything you'd like us to talk about, do drop um, a message in the uh, in the comments. I'm going to be streaming live on here on coptalk.tv when you're watching this video today. If you're watching it prior to three, four o'clock in the afternoon, then you pop along. You know, probably see that I'm live, sat working. Uh, we've got, you know, the, the members, the YouTube members, uh, everyone, even the people that aren't members come in and talk about Liverpool and all sorts. We've got a really, really good community there, guys. So if you're watching this right now and it's Friday and it's, I tell you what, if it's a weekday now and it's between 9 a.m. and 3, 4, 5 p.m. UK time, I'm probably live. All right. So come and say hello. And uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I haven't woke up yet. Sorry if I'm waffling on. Uh, but yeah, that was it. It was just about this kid. And, uh, at the end of the day, though, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about him, but he wants to play for Liverpool. That's it. That's it. Now I'm going to shortlist him. I'm going to put his name on a little yellow notes. It's sticky things. And I'm going to stick it next to my computer. And I'm going to monitor his career now. Does anyone know about him? Let me know if you do. Listen, I'll try and get back and make some more videos today. Uh, if not, have a great weekend. Listen, do your thing. You might not want to wear a mask, all right? But just do it. There's no point fucking whinging and crying about it. Just do it. It might help someone. That's what you've got to think. Uh, I haven't seen my, my family, my children, my grandson since December last year. Uh, and I'm obviously not going to see them this year, you know. And that really gets me down. But we're here. You're watching this video. I'm making the video. We can all be on our asses or whatever. But we're still here at the minute, guys, and that's important. There's a lot of people that aren't here that would like to be. So let's just uh, battle on with it and uh, let's see what happens, uh, you know, next year with, with regards to vaccines and things like that. All right. I think I need to make another video because I think I, I feel a bit too much like I'm like in a loving mood, being very nice to everybody. And we need a raging one. Should we get the tripod? Well, bizarrely, this is on a tripod. Uh, and this used to be the tripod, that, but it'd be up here and I'd be fucking raging. Do you remember them vids, guys? Eh? <laughs> good times, good times. But we don't want to be making videos where we are aggressive and ranting and fucking raving because that means something's going wrong, doesn't it? So if I'm peaceful, if I'm like this, you know, being like, come on, let's love each other, give, give each other a hug and all that, no homo, then that's a good thing, isn't it? Because it means everything's going all right. Or cough and get me tea or coffee away. I can't remember what I've meant. I'll speak to you in a bit. Thumbs up the video. Read the video description below. And maybe consider dropping me a comment. And don't be dropping a mean one. Because it'll only get hidden. Nobody will see it. And then you'll never be able to comment again. You think you're commenting. But you only you can see it. So don't be mean. Be nice. Make love. Not war.